But even he, when he started his career, his father was in no position to help him and even got two. So I was always very keen that uh, I am from a privileged family and uh, I, I couldn't believe it. I thought he's on weed. So I said, really? He said, yeah, I want to publish this book. And he said, what is this over here? Rakesh Anand Bakshi, you are Anand Bakshi's son or what? I said, yes, I am Anand Bakshi's son. I said, oh my God, again the question will start now. Do you write songs? Good evening, everybody, and thank you all for coming here. I think I've told Rakesh before this that I think he gives me too much names together. What more could a book do? Thank you so much. Um, so I'll just call uh, each director uh, one by one on stage and before I call them on stage, I'll just speak a little bit, just a little bit about them and then ask them to speak on what Shantanu, it's call it coincidence, call it chance, call it destiny. We happen to be launching this very, very unique book with so many names from a place called Union Park. This was the Beverly Hills, which I grew up in as a child. The who's who of the golden age of Indian cinema was here. Pran Saab, M. Sadiq Saab. This place which we are sitting down belonged to the great comedian Gop. It was his residence. And we as children used to stand outside to catch a glimpse of him. So this is an enchanted space from where this book is being launched. And I think nobody but you could have possibly performed an amazing feat like this to get so many names. As I keep on saying, the film industry is a place, uh, it's an army of generals. And when you get so many directors, it's a miracle on a stage together. You know, when you were talking about how difficult you found to make your film, I was reminded of, reminded of Frank Capra, the great American filmmaker. He said something in an interview, which I think is something which should be written in gold. He said, you may know everything about writing. You may know everything about editing. You may know everything but acting. But if you cannot get a project together and see it roll, then forget it. That means you don't have it in you. There's something about the people who sit on the stage, which they, we ourselves find very difficult to define that what is it that made us float when so many talented people around us kind of uh, drowned in, into the sea of oblivion. So when people ask me, I give I'm like that dog on a crowded street. Somehow I managed to cross the street. And 
on, on, at peak hours. So I cannot get on to a platform and give a speech of how to cross that street because the reality that I lived through was quite different from what the world now. And if they think they're going to get something from my interview, just forget it. I mean, their reality is quite different from what I was uh, dealing with and the stuff I was made of. But yes, I think the very fact that you brought the microphone to us uh, made our discourse very genuine, very real, because we are, we trust each other, we are insiders, we respect each other's wounds, we have affection for each other's frailties, uh, we are fiercely competitive, but we know what it takes to get a film together, and I think being a film director is not an ordinary feat, because it is he who sits down day and night and puts that document together. And I think we have on this stage, Vishal, I have seen him struggle through his vulnerable times and also saw him after he saw the peak, when he had a kind of a dip in his career, how uncertain he, f he felt. Uh, and a word of encouragement, how it brought his confidence sky high. I have seen Subhajji battle the most, most, most difficult times in the recent past. And a man of his stature, with such dignity, handled it. I've seen Farah come like a simple dance director to, into such uh, glory of her own, which is completely her own. I've seen uh, Prakash, my friend, who has started from there, from the time when we began, and come to this kind of amazing height. So they, these people are not looks. Abhishek, I do not know much about, but I have heard about his unique uh, perspective of cinema and life, and I, I, he himself is a survivor. So I think uh, to be able to put the lives of these people together is no ordinary achievement. We're very proud of you, and it's only a son of Anand Bakshi who could have performed a great feat like this. So Mubarak Ho, and congratulations to Harper Collins, and I think more will come, but I think it should, movies, books on movies should have the tone and tenor of the insiders, because what you read about us is not us. I think Rakesh may just have succeeded in giving you a glimpse of what it is to be in this world where we manufacture dreams and lull you to sleep day in and day out. So wake up and recognize that we dream makers also bleed, also cry, also feel lonely. Thank you.